You could be an amazing candidate for a job, but say one wrong sentence and it can completely tank your candidacy. I've been in recruitment for 15 years, and in today's video, I'm going to give you eight things that you should just never say in an interview. Let's go. Now, the first one I would say is never say any swear words. Now, even if they say swear words in the interview, they're cursing, do not do it. Don't appear offended by what they're saying, but don't join in. It's funny because they're saying it, and that kind of makes it feel like it's okay. But I've actually heard hiring managers say that, uh, you know, they, they said, you know, they were cursing in the interview, and... I just found that off-putting. And I know for a fact that those people swear in meetings that I have been in. It's kind of a double standard, but they're not trying to get a job, you are. A good rule of advice is, if you wouldn't hear it in Paw Patrol, don't say it in your interview. The next thing I want you to avoid saying is off-putting words. Now this is different from swear words, but these are words that can, in the context of a conversation, come off as offensive. What are those words? Obviously, actually, Things like that. Those words, when you say, well, obviously I wouldn't do that, that can be a bit insulting. Actually is like a fact-checking thing. When you're fact-checking someone, they're like, oh, well, my opinion is this. Well, actually, and then you go on. That's just a small thing that, in the context of an interview, might be a bit annoying. Another word is like clearly. If you're like, well, clearly you don't want to do this because that can be this. It's just not the best language you can use in an interview when, honestly, you're more so trying to connect with them than trying to show them they're wrong about something. Don't say the word hate. Um, that is one of those words that can be pretty strong in a context of an interview. And you don't wanna say, so, even if it's something like, I hate it when we get a power outage. You know, use softer language in the interview process. You can say, you know, in the past, it's been really inconvenient when blank happens. That's better than saying, I hate it when this happens. It's a small thing, but trust me, just avoid saying it. Speaking of negativity, never say anything negative about a former company, boss, or team. It never serves you. I have never heard a single hiring manager in 15 years say to me, Ben, I wanna hire this person because they said they really hated their last job. Let's send them an offer. Never happens. But I've heard tons of hiring managers say to me, Ben, this person was really negative about their past employer in the interview. I don't want to move forward with them. That happens. Avoid it. Speaking of things you shouldn't avoid, you shouldn't avoid hitting that like button. If you like this video, if it's helped you, if you're finding any benefit, hit that like button. It's free. It tells YouTube I don't suck. And it motivates me to make more videos because it really helps the channel. And if you're already willing to do that, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. That way you never miss one of my three free weekly videos all designed to help you land your next job and maximize your career. The next thing I don't want you to say is overusing business jargon. We've all heard that person who's like, let's circle back so we can work on the synergy between these, you know what I'm saying? Like that stuff where it's like, they're just using overused business jargon all the time. Don't do it. Try to talk like a real person. You know, you don't want to be off-putting in an interview. Certainly there's times where it makes sense to use specific business terms. But if you're overusing them in an attempt to try to sound smart, it's probably gonna come off a bit weird in the interview. I'd avoid it. Never say these sentences. I have a side hustle. Or, I'm looking forward to starting my own business. No hiring manager wants to hire someone who has a side hustle or is starting their own business, for the most part, because they're afraid is going to take you away from focusing on their job. Or it might become so successful that in the future you leave. No uh, hiring manager is looking for that. So if you have a side hustle, if you are looking to start a business in the future, just don't tell them, leave them out of the interview. Never say the words, it's on my resume. If they say, hey Ben, um, where did you graduate from high school? It's on my resume. Hey Ben, how long have you worked in recruitment? It's on my resume. That will never help you. It's not a good answer, do not say it. I really didn't have time to prepare for this interview. Some people use that as a crutch. You know, they don't have an answer to a question and they go, well, I didn't really have time to prepare this interview. I would have liked to have been able to, but I just didn't have time. No hiring manager is going to go, oh, okay, okay. You, so you didn't prioritize my interview. Totally cool. I, I, you know, I still think I want to move forward with you. That won't happen. Never make an excuse if you aren't prepared for an interview because trust me, it is not going to help. It's only digging the hole deeper. The next thing you want to avoid saying is, I will do any job for this company. It makes you look desperate, and the reality is, if you're focused on doing just any job, it means you're not focused on their job. And hiring managers want to hear that you want their job. Not that you'll take any job, because that means you'll leave their job, because you don't really have a lot of passion or interest specifically in what they like you to do, but rather you're just looking for anything. It never helps you. Do not say it. Now, these are things you don't want to say. 
But what I want you to do is be prepared to nail your final interview. Because if you avoid saying these things, you'll probably make it to a final interview. And when you get there, you're going to need this information. This information here is how to nail the final interview. It is different from all the other interviews. And arguably, it's the most important. So I'm done here. I'll see you over there.